Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and thanks so much for watching. June favorites, I know, I know I say it every month, we are moving at lightning speed. I feel like time just cannot slow down. But like this one really has got me. Like my son's gonna be three months old this month. I mean July 4th, my, my brother-in-law is gonna be 18. It was last July, I got pregnant. Like I cannot believe we are in the seventh month of the year. So today I'm rounding up my top favorites from June. I have a lot of beauty, like two home items and a couple baby things, a couple fashion items but I'm real heavy on the beauty today. I'm finding that beauty products are again just like something I'm gravitating towards lately so everything I'm talking about is going to be linked in the description bar below for y'all to shop so make sure you check it out down there. Also follow me on my like to know it, my TikTok, my Instagram, everything because I upload tons of content there daily and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'll start out with fashion because I don't want to forget. I'll actually put a picture up of my outfit right here and I always link outfit, makeup, beauty details, jewelry details, all that stuff in the description bar. But this tank top and actually these shorts are a major favorite for the month. So I have worn this combo in some color so many times. These Zara shorts, I can't link them through like to know it, but they are the best. They're like the high rise mom fit shorts or something. I love them so much. I talked about them in Wednesday's video where I shared like my favorite denim, whether it be jeans or shorts, and they're just so good. I'm wearing a 29. They don't have a ton of stretch to them, so they're very nice and like they're not going to get loose and stretchy throughout the day and like feel like you need to be pulling them up, which I love. So the shorts are definitely on repeat, but so is this tank top. This is from Amazon and I actually have it in three colors. So I have white, black, and gray, and I'm wearing <laughs> kimono today because it does show if you wear a regular bra. It does show in the tank top. You can like pull it up and do that kind of situation. But because I am nursing, I do have to wear like a nursing bra. So I do wear the tank top with just a regular bra and usually I'll wear like something over it or I will tuck them under. But I love this tank top. I love the tank top shorts combo. I love the shorts by themselves. Just, you can't go wrong. Tank top sets from Amazon, shorts are from Zara. Both will be linked below. I just, oh. I not stop wearing them. These sunnies, I am so grateful for. So at the beginning of the month, I actually broke these sunglasses. These were my most worn sunglasses from Key for a couple years now. I love them so much. They are the prettiest frames Ever. I'll link a similar look for less from Amazon below. They don't look exactly like this as far as like the roundness on the bottom goes, but I feel like these are just super flattering on my face. And if you guys watch me on Instagram, you know that I, or maybe I shared it here, I slammed them in between the car door by accident. They like fell off my face and I immediately stopped and bought them again because they were just the best sunglasses like ever. And I could not believe that I broke them. So I bought my second pair because I broke my first pair. Key sunglasses are just the best. And I went about a week and a half without these and I was super bummed. So favorite sunnies of life. I've worn these nonstop now that I have them again. And then the last fashion item are these shoes. So you guys, I've talked about these enough. You're probably overhearing it. I get it. I love these so much. The only downside to them, I mention this every time I show them, is how narrow the soles are. I have normal feet, so they fit mine just fine. I did size up half a size because I'm between sizes. I'm a nine and a half. I feel like that was a good call. These are very narrow, but they're super comfortable. They are a little bit loud, so do be cautious of that. But I wore those this past week to church just with like a really pretty long flowy dress and it just looked so good together. I adore those sandals so much. Like they are just my favorite go-to sandals lately. For beauty, I have three Makeup by Mario products and like moment of silence for these. So first and foremost, this by Mario. Mario. It's the Lix Lip Suede. It's called the Ultimate Suede Cozy Lip Cream, actually, in the color Nude Suede. It's the one I'm wearing today. It's just like this perfect light nude color. It is a little bit more mauve, but it does have that soft suede look to it, so it's not like super matte. I love this color so much. It doesn't last through eating, which I don't really expect it to. I find that products that last through eating are oftentimes way too drying on my lips. So you will have to reapply this through the day, but it does last for a very long time. His makeup line is like, oh my gosh, the best of the best. I am so in love and I only have some things from him, but I will definitely be getting more in the future. But this has been a lip color that I have been wearing on repeat. And actually, if you don't know, on my Instagram, like in my bio, you can click it and scroll all the way to the bottom. And I always update my lip combo there, like the one that I am just wearing constantly, my go-to. So if you're ever curious and you do follow me on Instagram, I always have it linked there, but I also always link it in the description bar below of YouTube videos. This is the one I'm wearing nonstop. This is the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in the color light. Now I watched his video before buying this because I was a little confused about the pan and he said, 
it is darker in the pan than it is on your skin and thank god I watched that because when this came in I was even then like oh that's that's dark and it actually does not look this dark on your skin but this is a skin enhancer and I could not agree with that statement more it literally looks like your skin but better I have not worn any other foundation since I got this in I have seen some people say that they think this is a bronzer or like that they've heard it's a bronzer that's not my experience on it because I watched the video of him using it on Sephora's website and he starts out and he says like start with the outer part of your skin and then work inwards I've seen him use it on people's noses like I think this is truly a foundation I don't think it's meant to be just a bronzer you could use it as just a bronzer but I think you're letting a really good product go to waste if you're only using it on your cheeks because this is so gorgeous on your skin and then finally by Mario this Oh, the Master Secret Glow Highlighter in the color Expensive. The one thing, this is actually like a translucent color. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. That is not, it's not silver. That's the color of the pan underneath it. This is clear. And I love this. The one thing is that he says it's not sticky and it does have a sticky consistency. So what I do, I'm wearing it today. It is so gorgeous. Is I will apply it to my face and then I actually will put powder on top of it so that it's not that sticky consistency. And you can see I have like a gorgeous glow. So it doesn't take away from the glow. It just gives it a little bit more of a matte feeling as far as like a sticky consistency on your face So that's the only thing about this is that it is it's a little sticky, but if you set it with powder, you're totally fine This brightening eye serum is Oh, so good. I cannot believe that I have gone 27 years without using this. Jen Reed was actually the one. I talked about this in my Amazon beauty video, I think. I can't remember, but it is so good. It has this like slight tingling sensation to it on your under eyes when you put it on. So it just wakes your eyes up. And I told you guys in that Amazon beauty video that I actually, the first time I used it, I put it on, I turned away, I was doing something and I turned back and I went, whoa, like it makes your eyes pop. It makes them so bright and using an eye cream is going to make your concealer look a lot better throughout the day. So I highly encourage you to do that no matter what, but this is the serum I have been using nonstop and it is just, I cannot believe I went 27 years without that because I've never seen a product that one feels like that on the skin, but two does make my eyes that bright that quick. You guys always know I have to mention a good dime product because I use dime on a daily basis, but I actually have been loving this lately. So this is the Malibu night perfume. I bought the Malibu night and the ILYSB last summer and then I want to say I actually think when they came in I was already pregnant and didn't know it So you guys know after you find out you're pregnant a couple weeks later You start to feel a little queasy and smells really bother you and I could not for the life of me for some reason just Malibu night made me feel sick and so I didn't wear it and I think this is more of a summer scent so I wore ILYSB pretty much my entire pregnancy and now that it is summertime I've been wearing Malibu night finally and it feels so good because one I love their perfume and two it just smells really good so Dime does have a cleaner perfume I highly encourage you guys to check out their website if you don't know what Dime is I believe that all of even their perfumes are rated two or below on the EWG website so very clean for a perfume I guess as clean as a perfume can be it is so good. So next I have this new face device and these are so good at eliminating fine lines and wrinkles. You do have to use them over the course of time. And what I always tell people when people say, oh, it's so expensive is it is still so much cheaper than Botox. And you can't get Botox while you're pregnant or breastfeeding. You can't use retinol while you're pregnant or breastfeeding. So you can use this while breastfeeding, but not pregnant just because it's never been tested on a pregnant person, nor I don't think, I don't think they even have intentions to. But I loved these two products and I talked about them so much because they were included in the Nordstrom sale last year. I'm not sure if they're included in the sale this year just because when I'm filming this, it is before the preview goes live. But I use this every single day now. It helps so much with those 11s because again, you can't get Botox, you can't use retinol while breastfeeding or pregnant, but this is safe for breastfeeding. So it helps a little bit with those like fine lines on my forehead, any crow's feet. It does have a timer on it. So what I'll do is I'll just run it over my crow's feet, fine lines, anything like that for about three minutes, I think is how long the timer is on this one every day. And sure enough, over the course of time, I'm starting to see all those lines that did pop back up due to lack of skincare during pregnancy finally start to go back away again. So it does take consistent use, but they are so good. And if they are included in the Nordstrom sale, I highly encourage you guys to add that to your wish list. And the moment that sale goes live to the public, 
buy it. Okay, I have a couple home items here. Nothing crazy, which is a little surprising, but I don't think this is gonna be a surprise to you guys. It honestly wouldn't be a monthly favorite video of mine if I didn't include a cup of some kind. And I love this Simply Modern cup. My husband has the 16 ounce. The biggest reason we like these is because they fit in all cup holders. I've told you guys the reduced water bottle, it fits in my car cup holders, but not my husband's. These fit in my car cup holder, his car cup holder, my parents. Like it just is the slimmest cup, but this is the 24 ounce and he loves the 16 ounce. His has like the trees on it. And then this one is just the marble, but this has like, I believe over 50,000 five-star reviews on Amazon. So highly, highly rated. Keeps your water cold all day long. It's not like watertight in the sense that if this like falls over, your water's not gonna come spilling out, but it also isn't going to be quick. So there is a true like straw opening here, but it's not like watertight. I do wanna make sure I say that, but if you are a cup hoarder like I am, Simply Modern, just add that one to your list. This I actually shared a few Amazon videos ago. Yeah, ago. And this is a, you can use it for a ton of things, but for me, this is a jewelry like tray. So I wear a ton of jewelry every single day. I don't always take my jewelry off at night because for the most part, like I'll take my watch off and then like hardcore bracelets, but I just don't, I wear so much jewelry, it's just not worth it. So the jewelry that I do like to wear on a daily basis, but I take off, I actually have been keeping in here and you can see some of my gold jewelry that I'm not wearing today is down in there. And then I usually will keep my necklaces if I take them off. I'll put it in here so that they don't get tangled up and everything else. I love this for jewelry though. I think it's super pretty. You could use it for a ton of different things. You can use it in your bathroom for Q-tips and cotton balls. You could use it, I mean, anywhere really that you need a cute little storage container. So I've been loving that one for jewelry and I keep it by my bedside every night because I'm so tired. I just get in bed, take off the jewelry that I take off and then I go to sleep. And then for baby. So this is actually something I've been very impressed by even more than usual lately. So we are here. There's this much product left in the bottle and my son is 12 weeks old. So this has lasted us for a very long time. He does get a bath every day because he spits up on himself every single day. <laughs> um, he just needs a bath every day. I, I'm someone who I just, bath time is my favorite. Bath time is his favorite. He absolutely loves it. But we've been using this Hello Bello Soft Lavender Premium Baby Shampoo and Wash since he was born. And only recently has Ezra started to really start a splash in the water. And he started to kind of like scoop up water and like stick his hands in his mouth. Well, so the other day he took his hand and he just scooped up bubbles and without even me being able to grab his hand, he like hit himself in the eye and got soap all in his eyes. And I was like, oh, here it goes. I prepared for it. This is gonna be it. He's gonna start screaming. And he just kind of blinked and looked at me and then started smiling. And I was like, okay, wait, so it's, it doesn't hurt your eyes, which is a bonus. This is not supposed to. I mean, obviously you don't want to ever get product in your baby's eyes if you can avoid it. But if your child likes to just, you know, get things in their eyes because they want to scoop up the bubbles that are in the bath, you don't have to worry about it making their eyes irritated because he, his eyes didn't even get red. Like he just blinked at me and was like, I was like, oh, okay. So soft lavender, Hello Bello soap, love this. We actually have a different like scent. I don't know, it's the whatever the blue one is. We have that one for when we run out of this one, but I have been loving Hello Bello. We have some Hello Bello diapers, but Hello Bello like actual skincare products have been really good on his skin because he does have fairly sensitive skin, but it also doesn't irritate his eyes if he gets it in his eyes or anything like that. This is something I mentioned the other day in my Amazon video. It's like a sensory toy, has these like pages that have the crinkle to them. And then also a mirror because I find that his play mat, the angle of the mirror isn't the best. You have to like take it off and hold it. While this one I think is a little bit better for his face. He loves mirrors now. He can like fully look in the mirror and recognize that maybe that not that it's him, but he can recognize and see in a mirror and use it for its actual intended purpose. I will see him in my car. Like if I look up at him in the rear view mirror, he will look back at me in it. Little boy knows what a mirror is. And so this has been great for helping him to look at himself, which also encourages him to keep keep his head up. He is, when I say so close, I mean, it's going to happen any day now. He's just going to hold his head up and not put it back down. The biggest thing is he sometimes will still, his head will be back too far and he can't lean back up to like get his head up. But for the most part, I'd say he is like 95% holding his head up on his own and his chest up, which just makes me so sad, but so happy all at the same time. And then the final baby product, because I'm telling you guys right now, this is a dream 
product. This is the Baby Merlin's Magic Sleep Suit. They only have this starting in three to six months and then they have like six to 12 months because it goes by weight here. This is not a weighted sleep suit. I wanna make sure that I say that, but it does go by weight. And because this is just like a thicker product, I don't believe that they want newborns to be using it. My pediatrician said we could start using this just before he was three months old because he was already over the 12 pound weight size. So you can go by weight, at least according to my pediatrician, but I always encourage you to check with yours you can go by weight and not necessarily the fact that they're three months old so he sleeps in this when he is refusing naps and I feel like he's been doing that a lot more lately he does have a lot longer wake window I feel than maybe some other babies at his age he is a very active baby he wants to be looking at you and talking and playing but when he does go down for a nap sometimes it's not the easiest thing in the world I zip him up in that and within seconds he is out like a light so we've been loving that if he is not gonna sleep in the snoo swaddle and it just I'm telling you guys it really is magic like it's called the baby Merlin's magic sleep suit because it is just this magical little power that just puts a baby to sleep and I adore it I am so thankful <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, go below and click the subscribe button if you're new here. Also, don't forget to follow my husband and I on our vlog channel. I will link that right here for you guys because we do vlogs there. I'm trying to get better about getting back into them so that I can have that footage for when Ezra's older. I can like go back and look at the videos of him as a sweet little baby. So thank you guys, love you so much, and I'll see you in my next video.